Hi, my name is Anthony Vanderwood. In this short video, I'm going to explain how Actifio snapshot pools work, and more importantly, how external snapshot pools work. But before we can get on to external snapshot pools, let's just quickly talk about internal snapshot pools and how they operate. So, an Actifio appliance normally has two major pools for holding golden copies of data, a snapshot pool and a dedupe pool that are made up of disks mapped to the appliance, whether it's from a hypervisor or whether it's from a, uh, whether it's from direct fiber channel disk, whatever it is, the Actifio appliance turns some mapped disks into pools and this is where we're going to store our golden copies. So we have a production database and we want to protect this production database and create an image of it, a golden copy, in our snapshot pool. So we create a staging disk. We then, using the interfaces of the Actifio appliance itself, present this staging disk to the production host. So that's NFS, iSCSI, or Fiber Channel. The connector, the Actifio connector on the production host, then coordinates data copy and copies an image of this production database onto the staging disk. And once the complete copy is made, application consistent, in native format, then the Actifio snapshot engine creates a snapshot of it, and the job is complete. We can then make a copy of this into object storage or into dedupe storage, and optionally, we can also make a copy of it into a remote snapshot pool using dedupe async or stream snap, and from the dedupe pool to the remote dedupe pool using remote dedupe. All of these additional steps are optional. Now, if you want to access this data using our mount technology, all instant, then we make a snap of the snap, and again, using those same interfaces I talked about, NFS, iSCSI, or Fiber Channel, the Actifio appliance presents that staging disk to a target host who can access it instantly and start using that data for test and dev, recovery, or whatever you like. So this is how a traditional internal snapshot pool works. Next, we'll look at how an external snapshot pool works.